in order to simply exist from moment to moment, the human body requires a source of energy. This energy usually comes in the form of the food that we eat, and we measure this form of energy in a unit called a calorie, which, interestingly enough, is actually a unit of heat. Nevertheless, it's become synonymous for us and our wider understanding of our dietary needs. Practically anyone who's ever had a little additional weight around the middle knows full well that in order to lose that weight, you need to be in a calorie deficit. You need to be burning more calories than you're consuming. Now, this can be achieved in a few different ways, but that's not really the subject of this video, so you can rest assured I'm not going to give you a huge lecture on how to lose weight. You don't need it, you look fantastic. And I like that shirt. No, today we're doing a video inspired in no small part by a comment on some of my recent content. Human beings need calories in order to simply exist and exert any great degree of energy and effort in the world. So this must go doubly true for Spartans, and more specifically, the Spartan II super soldiers quite literally superhuman in any metric that you wish to measure them in. And there's no greater example than with the Master Chief himself, Spartan John 117. We frequently see him performing inhuman feats of strength and speed. He can seem to just keep going and keep fighting for days at a time with basically no rest. But since every action has an equal and opposite reaction, and everything in the world requires energy to take place, the chief must be able to feed this level of physicality in one respect or another. But just how much would a Spartan II, how much would the chief have to consume in order to support his level of physical prowess? Well, we're here to find out. So, roll the intro and let's get to it. So let's just establish a few baselines here. In order to fully understand and appreciate how much calories a Spartan body requires in order to operate and function at the level in which they do, we need to establish a couple of metrics first. One of the things we need to understand is what is the Master Chief's basal metabolic rate, which is basically how many calories that he needs to simply maintain his body. Now we're going to specifically use an estimation formula known as the catch McCardle BMR formula, BMR standing for basal metabolic rate. We're going to use this one because, as far as I'm aware, it's the only estimation formula that takes into consideration the individual's body fat, which then leads us to a much more accurate estimation because then the body fat is kind of subtracted out of the person's overall mass leaving us just with tissues that actually consume energy on a day-to-day -day basis in any meaningful way. Fat cells are a way to store energy or calories within the body to be released at a later date, and don't necessarily consume very large amounts of energy in order to do this in comparison to the other tissues of the body. So in order to get a feel for this on what's quote-unquote normal, let's use me as an example. Now I'm 33 years of age, I'm male, I'm 6 foot 4, I weigh about 170 pounds, I have a body fat percentage of 23%, which gives me a basal metabolic rate, or BMR, of 1,653 calories. This is the quantity of calories that my body requires simply to maintain itself on a day-to-day -day basis. However, when you then factor in any activity performed during the day, that will then offset this calculation because obviously any real effort or work expended through the body requires calories in order to do so. So I have a moderate activity level which effectively gives me a day-to-day -day caloric requisite of 2,421 calories. Now, we can just change some of the metrics that we've just put in for me and substitute them for known metrics of the chief but also making some minor adjustments to some of the other metrics we don't necessarily know specifically. 
Really, this is specifically looking at Chief's body fat percentage. Now, we know how tall Chief is, we know how much he weighs, but we don't know his body fat percentage, and as a consequence, we don't then know his lean body mass, which is a metric that is important to this particular calculation. Now, it's worth bearing in mind that the average male has between 18 and 24% body fat. The average female has between 25 and 31. Women on average have slightly higher fat reserves in the body, mainly for reproductive purposes. And on top of this, it's worth noting that having 0% body fat, really not good. That is not healthy in any regard. There is a percentage of what's known as essential fat, which is basically the fat inside the body that is essential for life. For males, that's between 2 and 5% of your body mass, and for females, that's between 10 and 13%. But you see, I don't believe for a second that the Master Chief has average human male levels of body fat, but I also don't believe that he has the essential fat only in his body. Athletes, on the other hand, athletes can have a slightly higher than essential fat percentage within their body and thus still enable maximum performance. Olympic level athletes tend to have between 6 and 13% body fat for males and 14 to 20% for females. And I'm actually going to lean into the 6% body fat for males specifically for the chief because it's already been widely accepted that immediately following augmentations most if not all of the Spartan 2s had the bodies of Olympic athletes. This is a direct quote from the Fall of Reach. So we're going to lean into the 6% body fat for the Master Chief. That's the only major estimation at this stage that we're going to take. So we can then substitute in this information. So Chief is 49 years of age, he is male, he is 6 foot 10 out of his armour, he weighs 286.6 pounds out of his armour and has 6% body fat. This gives him a basal metabolic rate of 3,010 calories. However, his level of activity is insane. So we need to modify his calculation based on his level of activity. And if we do for extra active, this gives us an output of 5,718 calories. But there's a problem with this activity level because it assumes that this extra active level is by normal human standards and Spartan 2s are anything but normal human standard. There is a 2,708 calorie difference between Chief's basal metabolic rate and his extra active metabolic rate. Now, extra active in these kind of calculators is usually defined as a very intense exercise either daily or a very physical job, which constitutes two or more hours of intense elevated heart rate activity. And there's also a little problem here because Spartan's augmented physiology gives them a much lower resting heart rate, approximately around 30 beats per minute, giving them a higher ceiling of activity and more resistance to endurance physical activity. So Spartans do a lot more than this as well. But Let's simplify this down a little bit. So the catch mercado formula is basically that the basal metabolic rate is equal to 370 plus 9.82 times your lean body mass times the level of activity. So the lean body mass, or LBM, is your weight minus your body fat percentage. So for chief, that is 286.6 pounds minus 6% body fat, which equals 269.4 pounds. The level of activity varies between 1.2 for sedentary and 1.9 for extremely active, but as we established, Spartans are much more active than even the human standard for extremely active, with a variance of only 0.7 between sedentary and extremely active, we're going to have to add in another variance, a little conservative estimation. Spartan levels of activity, in my argument, could quite easily be 2.5, another 0.6 
above extremely active. This mainly ties back to their superhuman levels of physicality owed in no small part by their heavy augmentation sets. One single spun even out of armor is worth several normal humans. So conservatively adding 0.6 to this ratio for level of activity and sitting at 2.5 is, in my opinion, quite conservative. So this translates to the basal metabolic rate equals 370 plus 9.82 times Chief's lean body mass, 269.4, times by his level of activity, 2.5, giving Chief a basal metabolic rate of 6,983.7 calories. This is the quantity of calories Chief would have to consume per day just to maintain his weight and level of activity. However, this figure does not account for his enhanced physiology to the nth degree. We need to consider what effect his augmentations have on his metabolism. Now again, there are going to be some conservative assumptions made to give us a ballpark figure, but I'll reason them out and there will be a conservative estimate to establish at least a decent estimation of required calories. So. Most of the augmentations actually don't have a profound effect on Chief's metabolic rate, but a few do. The carbide ceramic ossification augmentation has little to no effect on his basal metabolic rate. His bones are still going through the process of osteogenesis, but it's not really much above normal human standards, and since the carbide ceramic is inert, there's no additional requisite there either. The occipital capillary reversal, or the eye augmentation allowing him to see in near perpetual darkness and give him enhanced colour and night vision, again has little to no effect on his metabolic rate. Again, this is a surgery performed that becomes static thereafter. It simply increases the flow of blood to the retinas, thereby enhancing vision. The thyroid implant has little to no effect, at least now. It may have had an effect earlier on in Chief's augmentation, but the thyroid implant was filled with human growth hormone, and its sole purpose was to induce puberty and growth at an earlier age, so they were fully grown adults by the time it came to augmentation, as additional growth thereafter would result in severe deformities. The gene therapies would have had a small effect on his metabolic rate. Some of the therapies particularly may have included alterations to cellular genesis and his metabolism, but with no direct evidence of this effect, we should probably disregard this at the present time. The superfibrification of neural dendrites, or the nerve augmentation, would have had a small effect on his metabolic rate. Action potentials within the nervous system move faster in a Spartan than they do in normal humans, and thus, this requires more electrolytes in order to maintain. The brain, while only accounting for 2% of a person's weight, consumes about 20% of the individual's basal metabolic rate at rest, which is approximately 300 calories. But the increase in reaction time leads to more possible actions within a given time span. In truth, there is a 300% increase in reaction time for the chief, and that would thus translate to approximately three times more actions performed within the average day. Now, it could be argued that this should only be considered during times of high physical activity, but just the action of sitting still doesn't particularly diminish the quantity of action potentials happening within the brain and the central nervous system at any given time. It doesn't diminish the quantity of these action potentials, just the intensity. But to avoid getting too over the top, we can likely cap this around 450 calorie range for a Spartan 2, which is about a 50% increase on human base normal. Now, in addition to this, there's also very clear evidence of additional experimental augmentations that the Chief has received. I actually did a video on Chief's secret augmentations a short while ago. It's linked in the description if you wish to watch it. But in very brief summary, 
there's evidence that Chief has at least a healing augmentation that was at least experimental when he was originally given his augmentation sets. Chief heals approximately 10 times faster than a normal human. This was established in the Shadows of Reach, which saw his quad get severely damaged from a Banshee plasma round. And despite running and fighting on this injury, after only 24 hours, he had the equivalent healing of a normal human with 10 full days of bed rest. During particularly severe injuries such as this, the body requires significantly more calories to support the process of cellular genesis. Old damaged tissues must be destroyed and recycled. The immune system goes into high alert to fight off infection and new tissues must be generated from the core building blocks available, all of which come with a high caloric requirement. Severe injuries can see a 50% increase in required calories and some healthcare professionals would recommend increasing your caloric intake to support healing and recovery if you're injured. Now, we don't expect Chief to be receiving grievous wounds on the daily, but if he has had an augmentation that fundamentally altered his base healing properties, he will inevitably require more calories to support just the normal process of cellular genesis that takes place within the body on the day to day, whether he's injured or not. Our cells are, after all, constantly going through this process. It is recommended to increase your intake of calories by 15 to 20 calories per pound of body weight following a surgery to support the healing. So it is reasonable to expect Chief with his enhanced healing and growth factors to require at least five calories per pound of body weight to support just his normal process of cellular genesis irrespective of any injuries. That equals another 1,433 calories per day. The muscle augmentation, now this, this is the big one. This has a very, very large effect on Chief's caloric requirements. A Spartan has a muscle augmentation that nearly doubles the muscle density, leading to an increase in the peak caloric needs of the muscles under load. There is a duplication of the sarcomeres, which are the basic contractile units of a myocyte or muscle fiber. This leads to a duplication in the energy requirement of the cells. Muscles on average burn six calories per day per pound of muscle at rest. That's a quarter of a calorie per hour sitting around doing nothing. Spartan muscles are at least twice the density meaning that translates to 12 calories per day or a half calorie an hour. Spartan muscle mass is also larger than average. We need to do a little leg work to calculate Chief's muscle mass, but we never skip leg day, right? Now, we can't assume that the percentage of weight for muscle on average for a human is the same for a Spartan. We just can't. The physicality doesn't translate. So we can't assume that it's between 75% and 89% of total body mass for the chief. So we're gonna to have to go the long way around. We already have the chief's weight. We can already deduct 6% of that weight in just body fat to give us his lean body mass. But what else do we need to deduct to be left with just his muscle mass? Or as close to it as we can get. Most of Chief's organs in weight are basically the same as a normal human, if slightly to the higher end on average. So all in all, human organs including the brain, heart, lungs, kidneys, liver, digestive system in an empty state, constitute around 12 pounds of body weight. Chief's augmented skeleton weighs 42.9 pounds in organic bone and pushing two pounds of carbide ceramic ossification material totaling 44.9 pounds, 10 pounds of skin, 12 pounds of blood, and we have a total mass of 78.9 pounds. Chief's lean body mass or his weight minus his fat is 269.4 pounds which means 190.5 pounds of Chief's mass is just muscle. 
which in turn means Chief burns 12 calories per pound of muscle, which totals 2,286 calories per day. But remember, this is at rest. This is doing nothing, just existing. And that's the energy requirement of his muscles. An intense workout for a normal human can burn 252 calories every 30 minutes. Muscle density and effort can double this figure easily for the Master Chief in his augmented state, costing the Chief 504 calories every 30 minutes, or just over a thousand calories an hour at peak capacity, meaning that Chief's muscles will consume anywhere between 2,286 calories a day at complete rest if he does absolutely nothing, and over 24,000 calories a day if he went all day fighting at peak capacity. Now obviously, it's going to fall somewhere in the middle of these two extremes. So directly in the middle of these two extremes is around 13,000 143 calories a day. So now we need to add up these totals to give us a feel for the average caloric requirement that the chief needs to consume to support his day-to-day -day activities, kicking alien ass and being humanity's savior. Chief's basal metabolic rate, 3,010 calories. Chief's basal metabolic rate in active service, 6,983.7 calories. But adding together these figures that we've just ascertained for his augmentations, 450 calories for his central nervous system, 1,433 calories for his healing factor, 13,143 calories for his muscle activity, and then on top of that, his normal resting basal metabolic rate, which is how many calories he just needs to maintain his body, just to survive from day to day. And we end up with the figure 18,036 calories. That means in comparison to me, Chief has to eat seven and a half times the quantity of calories I need to eat on a day to day basis. Or to put that into context, the Master Chief would need to eat 23 10-ounce steaks a day to maintain that level of caloric intake. Even strongmen competing for World's Strongest Man in the week running up to the final competition only consume 13,000 calories a day. I know saying only 13,000 calories kind of completely doesn't make sense to our normal sensibilities, but Chief would need to consume these 13,000 calories and then another 5,000 calories on top of that just to meet his basic caloric requirement day to day. So if nothing else, this outlines why Spartans need specialty diets in order to do what they do, and yet we've never seen Chief eating. Not in any of the games, for days at a time, we've never seen him eating. But that might have something to do with the fact that Mjolnir Powered Assault Armor actually helps him with his physicality and may even help him reduce his caloric requirement day to day. But in order to get into that, I think I need to do a completely different video altogether. If you'd like to see that, comment down below. And until next time. Thanks for watching. If I could respectfully ask, if you enjoyed this video, consider hitting the subscribe button and the little bell icon so you're told the second a new video hits the shelves. Hit this video with a like if you enjoyed, and if not, it's not a problem. And be sure to pop a comment below to throw me an idea on what you want to see next. Massive thanks to my awesome patrons, Spartan10148, the Metarch of my facility, Falcon, Prophet, Leon, Sylphia, Mikhail, and Irrefutable, the monitors of the array, Darian, Flaming Halo, Cameron, Spartan0137, The Cave Potato, Andrew, Shia, Dakota, and Ghost, my diligent sub-monitors, my fleet of Strato Sentinels, and my loyal enforcers, and all other patrons who have supported the channel and helped keep the domain operational. 
Huge props and recognition to Todd Morrison, Spartan137, Wesley Stuckey, and Jacob Kemp for jumping on as Tier 0 Transcentient YouTube members. You guys are epic. Shout out to John for reasons. And if you want to help support the channel and score yourself tons of perks and merch, head over to Patreon or consider becoming a YouTube member. Links, as ever, are in the description. Much love. Take it easy, everyone, and find peace in the domain. <laughs>